Hey folks and welcome back to the channel for another scum build. In this video we are taking over the A4 airfield and turning it into our own base. I will implement some defence tactics for the base and we will go through some of the thinking behind these base designs. As always folks, thanks for watching stay safe and take care. First off, I had to decide whether I was going to close off the runways or leave them open. I decided I would close them off as this would give great protection when taxiing your planes and of course when refueling, take off and landing. You don't really need to upgrade these walls, it's more of a security perimeter so feel free to save some time and just make them tier 1. Of course, I will have them all upgraded for visual. The main base can be either inside the hangar or just be built within the compound itself. I prefer to use the hangar for just holding aircraft but it can be easily reinforced to make it formidable for living inside. The key to any good base is lots of doors. No matter how many you think you have, you need to double or even quadruple that amount. Honestly, on a popular server, if you want to keep your base safe, you need anywhere between 60 to 100 go locks with lock protection protecting your base. There are other ways to secure your base, but we will not get into that today. I will though link a relevant and useful video for you guys at the end. The only real time consuming part of this build is the runway perimeter, and this is completely optional. I would personally recommend that you do. Base building in general is time consuming, but in terms of security, you get back what you put in. With modular base building only around the corner, the whole aspect of the game will take a huge turn in direction for the better. You will start to see these massive elaborate designs compared to the more square shapes you see in the game today. This will open a wide variety of possibilities for base building. It really is an exciting time to be part of the community and I myself can't wait to see where the game goes in the coming years. Hey folks, I hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful time wherever you are in the world and welcome back to another scum video. So we're just going to take a wee tour of my airport base. So you've got a choice of two runways of course. It's quite an easy landing. So I decided earlier on that I was going to wall off the runway itself. This is completely optional of course, you don't have to do this. But it looks awesome and it gives you a lot of protection when sort of taxiing, take off, land and refuel and stuff. But you have two runways to see, you've got one here and one up there. And then we just built the main base, just inside the compound itself. Now you don't have to upgrade, I upgraded these walls of course, I use god mode. But if you just want to build tier 1 walls the whole way around, it actually doesn't even take that long. So as you can see... We have a little refueling spot here. You can refuel your plane in that little spot there. So you've got infinite fuel, of course, for your plane. And we have the hangar, so you can use the hangar for your base if you must, if you want. Or obviously, you know, there is an element of vulnerability, of course, with this. There's a door here. I've built a Troy wall. Uh, if you want to know how to build the Troy Wall, I will link the video at the end, of course. And then you've got some windows here. You can't actually climb through these windows, but you can shoot through them, so I've just walled them off. And then around the back, you've got this little building here. It doesn't go anywhere, it's just a couple of things you can loot up inside there. And then, of course, so we've got the hangar where I like to keep the planes in. And you want to reinforce this? I have built five hangar doors here extra protection all will have gold locks and lock protection of course and then you will keep your plane inside here 
keep it nice and safe, close those doors against. And so I have built the base inside the compound itself, which is just sort of a standard squarish style base with layers and doors. So you've got, on the entrance here, you've got five doors for protection. Of course, more doors, the better. And then on each side, you've got these watchtowers, which gives you an excellent field of view against lockpickers that may be trying to lockpick your base. You can just shoot them through these gaps and you can open doors and close them to confuse the raiders. And then inside we have the main base, which is another sort of square st structure. Open up another handful of doors into the entrance. And then the idea is to put raiders off. So what way do you go? It's kind of a guess. Maybe you go this way, maybe you go that way, if you go this way. We've got sort of more protection here as well for this area of doors. So you can attack those pesky lockpickers. You come around, you've got more doors. And you're going around sort of a circle, or a square, sorry. And you come all the way around, and then eventually you'll find the main doors, of course, which are uh, well doubled up there, of course. There's five actually in total. And then you have your main cabin. Go back out again. The doors, plenty of doors, always have doors, as many doors as you could possibly imagine. You probably don't have enough. So that's basically just a wee tour of my airport base. We will uh, take off on the plane again and uh, get a good aerial view of the base. So of course you don't actually have to build the base inside the compound. You could just fortify the hangar if you want. You can add Lots of doors. Now you kind of only you can only really put. I mean, I suppose you could just put as many doors as you want. It will take up a lot of space. We have five hangar doors there. If you don't want to store your airplanes inside here, you can just use smaller doors, of course. And then don't forget to wall off these windows, or you can keep them exposed. It'll be a good way to defend your base. It'll also be a good way for people to troll you. And then you have the main entrance into the airport, which is right here. So I would recommend walling off the runways. Uh, it only needs to be a tier one wall. All it's really doing is to sort of just protect your plane while moving about inside the base, or just give you a little bit of security. We'll hop back on the plane here. We'll get a good aerial view of the base. Now, some squads won't, people don't really use planes, some people do. I like to use planes, I always put the aviation into my skill set. Well, it's, it's not actually that time consuming to build this base, really. Like, I mean, those walls, tier 1 level, you can get done maybe 2 3 hours. And then, of course, you want to fortify the hangar. And if completely optional if you want, you can build uh, your own massive base inside the compound. Obviously if you have a bigger squad, maybe four, five, six players, it won't even take that long at all with everybody pulling their weight, grinding materials and stuff. But yeah, it's a pretty awesome base. Nice, uh, nice wee area really. We've got lots of stuff around, we've got bunkers and stuff. Uh, that hangar gives out lots of our premium repair kits. Just put her down again. At least now you know when you're coming down to refuel or just sort of back for the night or you come back from a raid or something. Once you get her on the ground, you're going to be relatively safe. Well, it's a pretty nifty base, I must say. Pretty happy with it. Can't complain too much. Thank you all for watching, folks. This was my airfield base. Hope you all like it. Uh, thank you all for watching, folks. I really appreciate it. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.